We've talked about cable and fiber, we've talked about cell phone data, and we've covered some satellite. But there is another option out there for folks who need internet access. If we can't run a cable to a rural home and satellite is too laggy, maybe we could find a halfway point. Let's chat about fixed wireless internet. If your wireless connection is fixed for your home or mobile from your phone, you'll still want to keep up with all the work here on reviews.org. So click all those subscribe options down below. I think a lot of folks are familiar with using their phones to access the internet. That's pretty common these days. You drive around town, your phone sees a tower and data can be sent back and forth. Fixed wireless internet is a little different though. A wireless internet service provider solution isn't quite the same as just throwing your phone into hotspot mode. From here on, wireless internet service provider, we're just gonna say WISP. A WISP installs a receiver on your home and that constantly points to a transmitter on a tower, which then carries your data off to the World Wide Web. And we're not talking about a huge antenna, likely something even smaller than a satellite TV dish. This lined up connection, which is fixed, meaning it doesn't move, should be more reliable than the ebb and flow of connectivity your phone might experience as it moves around inside your home. Fixed wireless benefits from having an outdoor, clear line of sight. There are some of the trade-offs similar to satellite. You can't have any obstacles blocking your view of the tower. And weather can reduce the consistency of that connection. But the benefits over satellite are pretty solid. Your download speeds might be similar to the best that satellite has to offer, but latency is going to be a critical improvement over communicating with the satellite in geosynchronous orbit. Plus, a community that invests in wireless access, maybe they make some kind of broadband co-op, might be able to keep more of their money local. Costs associated with starting a WISP are also a bit more reasonable than trying to sort out all the zoning on running cables to distantly spaced out homes or trying to launch a satellite into orbit. And using fixed wireless is probably a little more common than you think. Currently around 7 million homes in the United States are served by a WISP, and these providers operate in all 50 states. But of course, there's room for this idea to evolve. While the idea of a WISP is usually focused on rural areas, there are some interesting ideas being discussed of using millimeter wave 5G as a solution for urban areas. Instead of trying to string fiber to homes in densely populated areas, millimeter wave antennas and receivers could fulfill broadband to folks in cities. We did a 5G field trip on this channel where I ran some speed tests on Verizon Ultra Wideband 5G, which is just a fancy name for millimeter wave, and the speeds I got on my Sony Pro were way faster than anything I can pay for from my cable provider in my neighborhood. So what do you find folks have to say in the comments? Do you or any family members currently use a fixed wireless solution? Are any of your communities looking to invest in a wireless option? Let's chat underneath this video and keep an eye out on this channel and the reviews.org social media. We just wrapped up a major contest. We've got some fun live streams planned and there are probably gonna be a few more giveaways on the calendar to come. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing to the channel. For reviews.org, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, AKA Some Gadget Guy, and I'll catch you all on the next video.